your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. What is a cloudy night? A little bit of drizzle out there, but right now no significant rain. That'll likely change overnight tonight. I think we're going to start the day just like we started today, tomorrow. Coming up with uh, more showers. 76 right now on the Breeze Camera Network. Your weekend forecast, we just can't shake it. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. I think we're going to have more sunshine, though, so maybe things will dry out a little bit. But 87 Saturday, 84 Sunday, and I think we cool down Sunday because I think we're going to see a big cluster of thunderstorms develop during the afternoon hours. Just some ground clutter showing up. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this radar return here. I'm not sure if we got a fire or what going on here uh, near Wheeler Lake. So I'm going to investigate a little bit more on that. See, uh, oftentimes you get a fire, it'll show up on radar and it, it doesn't move. So you get this plume of smoke. So going to check out and see what's going on with that. But overall, no significant rain out there right now. Uh, there is a disturbance that's going to come back in from the southwest. So we're kind of stuck here. The reason it's so wet is because the winds in the upper levels are stuck out of the southwest. And all the disturbances ride through. You get on the other side here and it's dry. It's been beautiful out here across parts of Arkansas, uh, Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Here's your daily planner tomorrow. We'll start off with some spotty showers, and those will continue as we go through the afternoon hours. But just like this evening, I think it's going to dry out tomorrow evening. And we're not expecting heavy rainfall, but we will expect some form, form of rain. Here's the model guidance at 10 o'clock, so it's already off. So keep that in mind as we go through time. It's off now. It may be off a little bit tomorrow morning. And one of the things I'm noticing here is it's starting to trend with a little more concentration of rain down here towards the Bankhead National Forest and Smith Lake, and that tracks up towards Arab and eventually Lake Gunnersville. But it almost stalls out in this area tomorrow morning. You can see that several hours. Someone's going to get several hours of this light to moderate nuisance kind of rain out there. Uh, drought monitor comes out tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Eric Burke will share that with you. First thing, I think it comes out about 7 o'clock in the morning from uh, the National Weather Service office. By 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, isolated showers, a few thunderstorms, but nothing like uh, what we've had recently as far as widespread locally heavy rain. So there's some comfort there. Things will continue to slowly dry out. Mowing forecast that becomes difficult. Make sure you got a sharp blade out there uh, to cut through some of this grass. It's getting thick out there. It's also a little on the wet side. Here's your 10 day forecast to more of the same. Trash pandas have had pretty good weather out there. Been able to dodge the showers. We'll see if they can do that all through the weekend. It'll be close. We'll see.